Hello everyone, my name is Bernard McCluskey and I would like to talk to you about the land based engineering course at Greenmount. So, it's a two year full time course, the awarding body is sitting Gills and it's a level 3 qualification. What is it about? Service engineering skills. It's about servicing, repairing and overhauling engines, tractors and farm machinery. There is also a growing emphasis on electrics and hydraulics with the introduction to the use of electronic diagnostic equipment. Uh, an example of this would be the TEX uh, diagnostic equipment we use to fault find on machines such as a 6330 John Deere. This is something that will be available to you in the Machinery and Building Centre if you come along to do the course. Underpinning knowledge. Learning the theory of engines, tractors and farm machinery that a service engineer needs to know. We have a number of Perkins standalone engines in the Machinery and Building Centre and they will be, these will be available to you as part of an engines module to pull apart, identify the components and put together again. On the last day of the module you'll put together the engine, leave it running in the workshop and that's how the module will be assessed. As part of assignments and exams you have written exams, continuous assignments and continuous coursework. Entry requirements. You need a minimum of four GCSEs to get onto the course and this must include maths and English. Entry requirement is on a points based system. The points are allocated on the basis of GCSE grades and grades and other qualifications received. We also have a prerequisite 40 hour work experience to, before you get onto the course. This is where you go to a garage or dealership and spend a week in this place working to give you a better idea and understanding of the type of working environment that you'll be going into. All students find this to be a very enjoyable experience. It is a full time course over two, two years. It starts in mid September and goes on to early to mid May. There are a good range of theory and practical activities. The students always enjoy applying the theory to the practical scenario in the workshop. There is a work placement also involved and this is a minimum of 150 hours to be carried out over two years. This can be done in a dealership or a garage of your choice. This will be ratified by Greenmount. So we, you will come to us and tell us this is where you would like to go and we will check it out. We will check out their insurances and check if they're a suitable place for you to do your, your placement over the two years. The qualification from this course is a Level 3 Advanced Technical Extended Diploma in Land-Based Engineering. This is broadly equivalent to three A-levels. With a pass, merit or distinction in this course, it opens up a whole broad range of third level qualifications that you can enter onto. This could include courses such as Mechanical Engineering, Engineering Specialisms, Technology and Design, along with another range of agricultural engineering courses. After graduating this course, you can go straight into employment as a trade qualified service engineer. This could mean working in a garage or dealership, working on a vast range of agricultural equipment, anything from tractors through to rain balers to combine harvesters to self-propelled forage harvesters. You can be working on a range of Items such as gearboxes, steering, brakes, uh, everything that a service engineer would be working on in the employment field. Another route you can take is progression to the higher education route. You could go down the apprenticeship route, go on to do uh, a level 4 apprenticeship or into third level education such as university onto a degree programme. What do applicants need? They need a keen interest in fixing and repairing farm machinery and a keen interest in electrics and hydraulics. Also a keen interest in, fa in fault finding. As I explained earlier, the text a diagnostic software is used to find faults within a tractor or machinery system through the laptop connected to the tractor's internal system and it's all done uh, through the computer based software. You should have some prior knowledge and experience of a workshop before you come on the course. You will be using hand tools and power tools and some prior knowledge and experience of tractors and machinery can prove to be very useful. 
We will teach you everything you need to know, but to know the basics before you start can be very useful. What do we want for students? Good attendance. There is a direct correlation between good attendance and accomplished results. Good application. You will have to study for exams and will have continuous pieces of coursework and assignments throughout the two years. Retention. We want you to complete the course. And achievement. We want you to achieve the qualification. We will do our best as lecturers and instructors to give you all the necessary information and guide you through the course as best we can. With a little application and a little study from you, this will always be possible. Workshop processes. Uh, we will take you through uh, training for welding, how to use a grinder properly, all the health and safety, uh, then all the other various tools that we have. <laughs> we have in the machinery and buildings workshop, such as a bandsaw, plasma cutters. Uh, we'll show you how to use it all and how to weld and fabricate. I would like to note here that welding and fabricating is not part of the qualification but you still need to learn how to do it to be a service engineer so we will show you how to do it. We have state of the art facility with lots of equipment in the machinery and buildings workshop, uh, the machinery and building centre sorry, and you can do lots of diagnostic testing. Uh, as you see here, this is a, an actual circuit board that we have set up to test starters, alternators, and you can see the, volt, the voltmeter down the bottom there. So we use this for testing circuits, finding faults, and how to identify faults. It's not all work and no play at land-based engineering either. Every year there is a study tour organised for the second year group, and this is a very memorable experience for all students that partake in it. This here on the photograph is a study tour to the Bernard Crone factory and this will be combined during that week with a trip to maybe a show such as Agrotechnica or Lama or depending on the year it could maybe be SEMA, SEMA in Paris. So obviously all them shows don't run every year but whatever one falls on that year we generally try and go to. The study tour is partly funded by the college, uh, so as I said earlier, it's always very memorable and a great trip to go on. There are other visits organised for students in first year throughout the year, but these are more local visits, and then the study tour to uh, the foreign uh, factories or shows is always done in second year. This here will show you a typical day in the workshop. Um, I'd like to note here that while you're in the classroom you'll be in a group of 24. While you go into the workshop you're split into th uh, groups of three, so that'll be three groups of eight. So at most there'll only be eight people or eight of your peers in the workshop at any one time. So as you note here, this John Deere harvester, we have one person working at the feed roller, one person working at the rail, and another person working on the bench. So. A great range of experience is available to you here. You get to work on a great range of machinery from silage harvesters, application equipment such as fertilizer spreaders and how to calibrate, slurry tankers, muck spreaders, uh, and all other sorts of grassland equipment such as mowers, tethers, rakes, and sometimes silage thrillers. Life away from home for the first time for a lot of you. So Greenmount is an action packed place to be. There are lots of clubs and societies along with trips and activities to keep you entertained during your time on campus. On a Monday evening you can do motor club and on a Tuesday and Wednesday evening there's engineering club. This runs from 7pm to 10pm. Other trips that could be included are things like a trip to Ballymena Market once a week or a trip to Dundonald Ice Rink. There are a various range of trips and activities organised throughout the semester. Also I'd like to add here that applications for accommodation are open on the 1st of June. Uh, you can apply for this online at www.caffrey.ac.uk Thanks to everyone for listening. I hope you've all enjoyed the presentation. If you have any queries, please feel free to contact me on the number below. Thank you. All the best. Bye-bye.